If hollandaise and mayonnaise are the great classic French sauces, this one is the greatest English sauce of all. This is the real deal homemade custard made with cream and egg yolks. The first rule of sauce making is to have a sauce pan, i.e. a pan for making sauces. This one here is made from heavy gauge aluminium, which is the very best conductor of heat and the sauces never catch. You can choose what you want to use for custard. You can either use a pint of milk, single cream, but we're going to go the whole hog today using double cream. And I've got 570 mils gently heating in the pan. In my bowl, I've got six egg yolks. This is one level dessert spoon of corn flour, which is important because it's going to prevent the mixture from curdling. And I've mixed it with 50 grams of golden caster sugar first, before adding it to the egg yolks. And after that, a dessert spoon of vanilla extract. Then whisk them together very thoroughly. When the cream is just below simmering point, just one little bubble pops up. Take the pan to the bowl and pour it onto the eggs with one hand whilst you whisk with the other. When it's all in, quickly pour the whole lot back into the saucepan, then back onto the same gentle heat and carry on whisking until it becomes thick and smooth like this. Now, just to give you confidence, I'm going to overheat some of it and let it begin to curdle and split. It looks like a disaster, as you can see, scrambled egg almost, but not so. That little bit of magic corn flour will always do the trick. And if you just take it away from the heat, Go on whisking with your whisk, it will always come back smooth, just like this. If you want to keep the custard warm, or even if you're cooling it, place some cling film directly on the surface to stop a skin forming. It's also handy to know that custard freezes really well. Serve it warm, poured over a crumble, and the recipe for this one is online or when it's chilled, it's sublime in a trifle. Now this is a very traditional English trifle. We've sliced and sandwiched trifle sponges together, using raspberry jam, then cutting them into three. Then stab them all over with a sharp knife or a skewer, and soak them, preferably with 150 mils of Madeira wine, which is traditional, or if not sherry. After that, add sliced bananas and fresh raspberries. Then to release the juice, just press the raspberries down. After that, pour in the custard. Allow it to chill. and then later on, top with softly whipped cream and scatter flaked toasted almonds all over. And this is perfect trifle, just as it should be. Now we're going to make what the French call creme brulee, which originally came from England and was called burnt cream. Here, the same custard has been poured into ramekin dishes. Cover and chill these for three hours. Then sugar is sprinkled over the top, and this gets flashed under a very hot, preheated grill until the sugar caramelises. Just to say you can caramelise the sugar with a blowtorch, but we think a hot grill is much less bother. 
it'll only take about four to five minutes. Leave to cool and chill in the fridge until needed. Tap the caramel. Then dig down and enjoy the crunch with the creamy chilled custard underneath. Here we've included a recipe for chocolate creme brulee made with chocolate custard or this one which is half vanilla at the base and half chocolate on top. Whichever one you make you can actually freeze them with this brulee topping. Leave them aside for 15 minutes before serving semi-frozen which is another real treat. Now what to do with all those egg whites? No problem, because we're going to make meringues. But first, look in detail at our video techniques at how to whisk egg whites. Because once you've really learned this very important lesson, you'll never look back. So, whisk the egg whites first to stiff peak stage, and now whisk in 175 grams of golden caster sugar using about a tablespoon at a time. When it's all in you end up with a very stiff, smooth, silky glossy meringue mixture that looks like this. First to make a pavlova place a liner on a baking sheet and spread out a circle of meringue. Then put large blobs all round and using a skewer make them into little swirls. Now the important bit is how to bake meringues. Place the tray in a preheated oven gas mark to 150 degrees, then immediately turn it down to gas mark 1, 140. Time it for one hour, then switch the oven off and leave the meringue to dry out until the oven is completely cold. What's happening with meringue here really is it's not actually being cooked, it's just being dried out and that's the secret. To serve the pavlova, you can use just whipped cream, but I think this is the best filling. Here we've got a thick Italian mascarpone, and we're going to lighten it with some natural fromage frais. Then a little sugar, and some vanilla extract, and this makes a really special filling. Top with strawberries and finish off with strawberries and sugar whizzed together to a puree in a mini chopper and then just drizzle it all over. Now just a quick look at individual meringues, which you can spoon and shape into little rounds and then make a dip in the middle. They have a lower preheated oven, 140 degrees centigrade or gas mark 1, and switch the oven out after 30 minutes. You can fill them with soft fruits or in the winter with our luscious homemade lemon curd recipe here online and topped with the mascarpone cream. The sharpness of the lemon and the sweetness of the meringue are an ingenious combination. And one last thing, meringues freeze beautifully.